Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the ultrasound probe, more specifically about the movements of the probe. I decided to do this as a guidance for upcoming videos. First, you can find here some basic information about the ultrasound probe. In echocardiography, we use curved probes with a small footprint. It's very important to recognize the parts of the probe. On the left picture we can see the housing or body of the transducer and the strain relief. On the right picture we can see the index marker and the cable. To continue with the parts of the probe, on the left picture we can see the housing or body of the connector, the strain relief, and the cable. On the right picture we can see the transducer length, which is the orange part, and the footprint, which is the part that makes contact with the patient. The main purpose of this video is to talk about the movements of the probe. If you know the movements of the probe, it's going to be easier to follow instructions and obtain the echocardiographic windows. And the movements are translation or transference, rotation, angulation, and tilt or lean. I'm going to describe now one by one each movement and it's going to be followed by a video. Translation or transference is when you move or transfer the probe to another area, on the patient's chest in any direction. In this video, I'm translating the probe, which is moving the probe from one area to another one without doing any other movement. Rotation is when you turn or rotate the probe on itself. You can rotate the probe clockwise or anticlockwise. Here I'm rotating the probe anticlockwise and clockwise. Angulation is when you incline or angulate the probe towards the shorter diameter of the footprint. You can angulate the probe superiorly or inferiorly. In this video you can see how I'm angulating the probe. And finally, tilt. This is when you lean or incline the probe towards the longest diameter of the footprint. You can tilt the probe superiorly or inferiorly. Here you can see how I'm tilting the probe up and down. And that's it, those are the four different movements of the probe. This will help you to understand better how to get the different echo windows. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on another video. Bye!